What are some of the uh, the hurdles that you that you encounter when you form a, a polyandrous or polyamorous family? It varies. It varies by by family. Um, we were actually we've been together nearly five years. Um, we met Slave Scott uh, a couple of years into that. We were all actually very good friends for about a year and a half before we brought uh, Scott officially into our family. Um, and it is, again, a lot about connection. It's a lot about communication. If there's any, any place at all where a polyamorous family is going to run into to problems, it's going to be the issue of communication. How do you uh, how do you solve that problem that challenge? I allow my voice to speak freely in my home. Um, I think it's one of my roles as their sir is to teach them the value of having a voice not only in our home but in the community that they serve, and it is probably the bigger responsibility of mine to make sure that they utilize that voice appropriately. Um, there are ways to communicate with me appropriately and some that are not. And so if there's ever a fear that something might be misunderstood, um, either of them will say, sir, can I just speak freely? <laughs> Which means whatever I say, we're going to take this face value because I don't know how to say it. And that's fine. Makes sense. Let's uh, change track a little bit and talk about the time between now and the ILSB contest in uh, in July. Uh, what do you guys have on tap between now and then? Ooh, um. <laughs> <laughs> we got all the time in the world. Don't worry about it. We're, we're <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we we may need to give you the edited list. That's um, fine. We're, we're of course getting ready to, for International Leather Shirt Boy in ju the end of July, uh, as far as the contest itself. But leading up to that, we're also doing as much as we can to represent our region in the southeastern United States. We are traveling around as many of the states as we can, visiting the different clubs and the different events on top of the events that we produce and coordinate here in Atlanta. So it's definitely a juggling act, making sure that all of the priorities get in line where they need to be. Uh, but we're definitely having to balance our family and home life with the events that we do here with our travel around the southeast. Yeah, we basically have a full calendar between now and, and August, um, and a lot of it is uh, relegated to various leather, BDSM, fetish club events throughout the southeast. In March we're going up to Nashville for the conductor's run. In April we're going to the Greenville Renegades run. Of course, we have our own, we have two or three of our own big events coming up within the next couple of weeks also. Now, come July, you're going to be in front of a whole group of people who are going to be asking you some pretty pointed questions. Uh, I want to ask you, what's the thing that you're most afraid they're going to ask? Wow, that is a really, t I have not even given that any thought. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully I didn't mess you up, sorry. Right. <laughs> oh, great. Now I have something to think about. <laughs> That's a really, really... Well, let, let's, uh, let, let, let's, let's take another tag. What's the one thing you really hope they will ask you? The thing I hope that they will ask me. Ooh, will I give that a shot? <laughs> um, I really hope that I get asked what I'm wanting to accomplish by representing my community as a letter boy and that is to help boys understand like sir mentioned a moment ago that you can have a voice within your community as long as you're using it respectfully and in the proper ways you can still have a voice that can be strong guide your community as long as you're doing it in the right way and you just have to have mentors to help you learn that right way so that you don't step on anyone's toes or offend anyone, which is, would definitely be inappropriate. Right. Cool. Yeah, and, and along that line, I think, you know, I was in, in thinking about that question, I was kind of thinking of those far out questions, but I think, I think really one of the basic questions is what defines you as a serve. 
And for me, it, it truly is the relationship that I have with my boys and the longevity of that relationship that I've had. Um, to me, being a sir is much more than knowing how to throw a single tail or to, to crack a little whip. Um, it's how you interact with the boys, boy or boys in your immediate family, but also within the leather community itself. Now, our leather community obviously uh, it has a lot of people and it encompasses a lot of different, uh, different, uh, you know, different uh, looks, uh, outlooks. I can't think of what I'm trying to say here. Our leather community encompasses a lot of different people who have a lot of different points of view on a lot of different things. But what do you think are some of the primary challenges that are, that are facing our community these days? I think a lot of it has to do with the politics that runs through our communities. There's politics everywhere. Uh, politics are generally um, attached to, not always, but generally attached to an individual's agenda. I think probably one of the biggest things is our own egos. Um, I had a, I have a very good friend of mine that asked me, and I thought it was a trick question at first, um, asked me what the role of a boy was. And I was a little confused. I'm like, is this a Hollywood Squares question? <laughs> um, and I said, okay, I'll take the bait. What is it? And she said, it's to hold our egos up. Mm. Uh, and I thought about it for a second. I said, you know something? Mine must be really big because I need two boys. <laughs> Are you going to contradict that, Nitro, or not? <laughs> I didn't think so. Um, well, one of, the, you know, one of the big political things that always seems to challenge us lately is this issue of inclusiveness. You know, how do we approach uh, and embrace or not embrace inclusiveness? You want to, do you care to comment on that? I am very much a proponent of inclusiveness, but I think our, our greatest challenge with that is how we teach newcomers um, how to be successful and relate well within our community. And I think it goes back to uh, a friend of mine's philosophy of each one teach one. Um, with that in mind, our community has become so large and so expansive, it's really difficult to get to everyone. But I think making those resources available, being, um, being available to mentor individuals, that are coming into the community is a step in the right direction. Do you consider yourselves and your family to be old guard, new guard, or no guard? Um, well, I personally don't believe there's any way I can be old guard. Uh, my philosophy on that is unless I was living in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, I cannot be, if I, unless I was in an active part of, the, of that leather community, then I can't be old guard. Um, I can and I do um, live my life and run my, my home based on traditional values, traditional uh, etiquette and protocol, which many would consider um, old guard-ish, um, but not, not particularly fully old guard, no. So a lighthearted question, what's on your toy wish list? <laughs> a toy wish list, wow. Because <laughs> I know you personally, so I know you have a pretty extensive toy collection and people that are viewing this can see the back wall and see that, yeah, there's a pretty extensive toy collection going on there, but there's always something else you need. Yeah, and, and my toy wish list uh, is <laughs> it's really pretty easy to obtain. I want one of the remote control things for your electric butt plug. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Us too. Uh, you know, I, I want to thank you very much for the time that uh, you have given us today and taken out your schedule to, to ask us these questions and to, um, and I, I want to thank you also for the tremendous amount of work that you and uh, Leather Roddy do in our community. You're welcome. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Now we can just make money at it, we'll be happy. <laughs> cool. All right, guys. Well, we will see you at the next event we see you at, but for sure we'll see you at ILSB. Absolutely. Excellent. Right. Thanks. Have a great day. All right. All right. Thanks.